Welcome to this tutorial, which will provide a brief product overview of the Scribe Online connector for Magento. My name is Richard Acey, training manager here at Scribe Software, and joining me is TJ McDowell from Datex. Welcome, TJ, and thanks for being here. Thank you. Happy to be here. So, uh, you know, I, I thought maybe what we could do is just have a, a quick introduction discussion about, you know, your role at Datex as well as, you know, your uh, involvement with this connector project. Sure. So I'm the Executive Vice President of Software Development at Datix, and uh, my involvement with this uh, Magento connector uh, was as a Magento, uh, or as an architect of the connector, uh, and then as well as heading up the dev team uh, who coded the connector. Oh, good to know. All right. So thanks for that, TJ. You know, I, I thought a, a good place to start uh, with this uh, uh, brief uh, tutorial is with a um, uh, an introduction description, if you will, of the connector, uh, where you can find it, and uh, you know, whom would be a typical end user for this? Sure. So this is an e-commerce connector, the Magento uh, connector is, and uh, it's a fee-based connector uh, that's attained from the Scribe Marketplace. Uh, and so you can go to the Scribe Marketplace and request an install uh, of that. Uh, and it's an easy installation. Uh, no developer interaction is required. Uh, and so it, you can get up and running very quickly uh, using the connector. Uh, and then typically we see uh, you know, map developers or business analysts using this connector. Okay. Well, it's good to know that it's certainly easy to install. Yep. Yeah. Point and click. Exactly. So, uh, you know, are there special requirements for the configuration uh, for the end user? Uh, and if so, you know, where, where would they get that? Sure. So there is some setup required inside of Magento. Uh, and what you have to do is you have to set up a user account uh, as well as OAuth has to be enabled for Magento. Uh, so once those two are set up, uh, you can set up the endpoint security to make sure that each of the endpoints that you're looking to work with uh, is enabled and you're able to do the reads and writes as needed uh, for that connector. Okay, so just to be clear, the connection into Magento is via web services, and that's RESTful, is that correct? It okay. is, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, well this all makes sense. So with uh, the Magento account, uh, credentials, all that in place, and um, when you're configuring the Magento connector, uh, what are some of the uh, you know things that one would need to know to have to be able to successfully connect into Magento using Scribe Online? Sure. So some of the important things to have, uh, that username and password that we talked about, uh, just having that accessible and ready to put in uh, to that connection info, uh, as well as during that OAuth authentication setup, uh, there'll be a key and secret provided to you. Uh, it'll be important to keep track of those uh, because those will also be needed in that connection screen. Okay, good to know. You think maybe we can take a quick look at that? Sure. Do a quick sign in here. And let's take a look at the connection that we have set up into Magento 1. So walking down through these, uh, we first see the service URL. Uh, and this would just be the URL that a typical user would go to to get to that Magento site. Uh, and then we talked about the OAuth key and secret. Uh, and you will have taken note of that as you're setting up OAuth. Uh, and then those just get entered right into here. So uh, we see also the OAuth username and uh, password. Uh, and so you'll just enter those credentials there, both the username and password. Uh, and then you have some options to be able to set up in case your environment is a little different than typical. Um, so you might not have your admin folder configured to be uh, admin. Your developer may have set it up a little bit differently than that. Uh, so then the subscription key, uh, that's something that when you are working with Datix on setting up the subscription to this connector, uh, that will be given to you at that point. And then custom metadata uh, will allow you to work with uh, custom endpoints, um, entities, and fields. Uh, so that can either be a yes or a no, depending on whether you're looking for that functionality. Okay, well this is good to know. Everything that you had mentioned up to this point is pretty straightforward, and, uh, but I think one of the things that uh, you would agree, I, I agree as well, and our viewers would uh, probably agree, is that uh, this whole notion about change management, right? You know, as a business evolves, it grows, it has different requirements, and most often those requirements have to reflect back 
into their CRM, ERP, Datic system, or the uh, uh, Magento system. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of changes that are happening. And uh, how has the connector been architected so as to be able to support that type of change? Sure. So uh, the connector is a fully featured connector. Uh, so out of the, all the endpoints out of the box are supported already from Magento. Uh, and then even past that, uh, should you want to add on custom endpoints or entities uh, or custom fields, uh, there is a companion extension uh, that we've created that a Magento developer is able to install uh, and then allows you to have full access into those custom entities and fields. Okay. So up to this point, we talked about you know what the connector is. You know where can one get this connector? Uh, we talked about the uh, end user that would be a typical user of the connector, uh, and then we followed with some discussion about the connector's requirements. Now I, I think this would be a, a good time to wrap up this brief tutorial with maybe some discussion around potential use cases, uh, and and possibly preview the connector as well. Sure. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, so. We see the connector used in many different scenarios. A uh, couple examples, uh, we have customers that you might want, uh, you know, you may have new customers coming into your e-commerce system uh, that you want to be able to pull into your order fulfillment system. Uh, and so this would be an easy way uh, to pull that information across. Uh, and then, you know, uh, one other thing that we've seen very often is uh, being able to keep product information up to date, uh, you know, being able to do things like uh, mark out of stock, um, you know, how many are remaining, uh, and those kinds of changes. Okay, so these are just a few of the many use cases that you mm -hmm. can certainly uh, apply this connector to. Definitely. Uh, maybe you can uh, show us a little bit again? Sure, absolutely. All right, get out of my connection screen there. I'll open up a, a sample map. Uh, let's take a look at a customer. Uh, and so what we have here is a query on a customer and uh, the customer entity here. Uh, and so what I'll do is a quick preview uh, just to show what that might contain. And we'll give it a second to load up here. So you're making connection into your source system and basically querying for the, uh, the data that resides within these particular uh, fields of that entity. Exactly, yeah, okay. exactly. Um, and so we can see a number of the fields that Magento returns when the record was created, uh, you know, so when the customer uh, was created, uh, the name and uh, even some tax info uh, could potentially come back. Uh, and so this is just some basic info about the customer that uh, you'd be able to pull, uh, you know, potentially into another system. So uh, in addition to being able to query a customer, um, you know, it's also definitely useful to be able to create new customers inside of Magento uh, or update customer information, um, you know, maybe their address changed or, um, you know, something else about the customer was uh, changed in another system. You want to be able to pull that information across uh, or, uh, and whoever would want to do this, but even have the potential to delete a customer. <laughs> yeah, good, good point. So uh, again, you, we talked about the custom fields before, so as long as you reset the metadata, those will be exposed within that uh, view that you had uh, previously sh shared with us. That's right, okay. yep, with that companion extension installed, that will pull right across and show up as fields, um, you know, in any of these blocks okay. here. That's good to know, okay. All right, so uh, we can also take a quick look at uh, product, uh, and so products in Magento have different product categories, uh, and so that's how this particular map is starting, is just pulling in a product category, uh, and then all of the subsequent blocks would be related to the particular category we're working with here. Uh, we'll just pull it up. Uh, this category ID will mean something to Magento developers and potentially uh, Magento users, um, you know, but. Uh, for here, we just see a, you know, an actual number for a category ID. Uh, but what that does is it gives us the ability to work with the remaining product blocks. Uh, and so you can look up different products from that product category. Uh, you can create products, update products, and delete products, uh, which is very useful in being able to maintain uh, you know, stock status and being able to update uh, information about the product like dimensions uh, or other things that are related uh, from another system. 
fairly uh, simple map as we see here, but I'm, I'm sure that this can be as complicated as the use case requires. Definitely. Correct? Okay. Now, if you do have questions about you know what you've seen today, or maybe some additional questions about the connector, its usage, those types of things, uh, certainly reach out to us, as you can see here on this page at our website at success.scribesoft.com, and post your question, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So this brings us to a close, and um, I would like to say on behalf of TJ McDowell and myself, we thank you very much for taking your time to uh, view this tutorial, and we wish you great success in the use of the connector. Thank you very much.